Yo what's up guys welcome to my humble youtube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. That time when my daughter from another timeline visited me by Kirito Bamber. Chapter 15. Anger Rimuru Pav The reason why Ivaraj gathered his power in one point in his body was to transform. For example, gathering the power in your fist makes your punching attack more powerful. It also similar when transforming. Unlike me, I devour Shizu San body to make this form of mine. I also try it before, transforming into my previous form, but Seal San warned me about the damage it will do. Though I didn't believe her at that time, witnessing it with my own eyes give me no choice but to believe. After all, suppressing your power recklessly will cause shockwave that might destroy the surrounding. Also, transforming into human form without a foundation was quite impossible for anyone to do. You must possess an archaic wisdom in magic to do that. I have seal san in my side, so I don't have to worry any of that. But in Ivaraj's case though, must be his own will that fill all the shortcomings. When I fought him two years ago, he hadn't transformed into any humanoid form. Just thinking that the Ivaraj right now possessing more intelligence and more power makes my worry skyrocketed. The form that Ivaraj took was like a form a dragonoid person. He was tall, have short black hair with a hint of red on the edge that reached its back neck, have crimson eyes, well built, quite muscular, and had two black wing on his back. His skin also has some dragon scales, indicating that he was a dragonoid. He was wearing long black pants and something like a red thin clothes that reached its elbow. It didn't cover his belly though. Seeing Ivaraj dress like that, reminding me of a certain red haired devil. Though the color was different, the design was still the same. I glance at Guy, sending him the look that says, Is he your fan or something? And he answered, No, with a straight face. Fuhaha I tried to hold my laugh but I can't, so I just cover my mouth with my right hand. Contrary to my, what a coincidence, facial expression, Ivaraj laughed loudly with confidence. Wah ha 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 ha, feeling afraid by a mere attack? All of you are so weak, that it's leaving a bad taste in my mouth. Looks like only one of you have enough power to entertain me, he said while looking at us, then turned to me. When he says, enough power to entertain him, did he mean me? I mean, I did possess strong power inside me, but I'm concealing it right now. How did he feel that? Ah well. Before we start the entertainment you said, may I ask what's your purpose coming to this world? I asked, feeling unfazed. Depending on his answer, we may have room for negotiation, because really, I hate this war from the very start. In fact, I prefer to end this war in a peaceful way. I'm not some battle maniac that loves to fight whenever there's a chance, you know. But from his attitude he's shown, looks like it will be impossible. Oh. Then I will tell you. You already know that I came from another timeline, yes. You see, there's a child born possessing imaginable power. When I feel that, I've gained self-awareness and I wake up from my slumber for only one reason just so I can devour the being. Ivaraj said in frightening voice. Hum. What did he mean by that? A child born possessing imaginable power? Who's that? But when I turned towards my group, I spotted Razu cowering in fear. I sent a look to Hanada, saying, What happened? And she answered, I don't know, with a worried face. Hum. Wait. Did he mean Razu? Razu comes from another timeline, she also possessed strong power. And the most important part is that, she's a newborn when she arrived in this world. You can't tell in her 16 year old form though, but still. While I'm struggling, thinking if it's possible, Ivaraj continued his story. I rampage in that world, just so I can find that chosen child. There's some people that try to stop me, but alas, it's hopeless. When I spotted the child energy, I head there immediately. On my way there. The energy suddenly vanished. I'm so furious at that time that I decided to destroy the world. There are even two people that was trying to stop me. One was a blue haired guy and the second one is a black haired woman. The blue haired guy looks like you, though you're more taller, Ivaraj said. Listening to his story made my mind go blank. I can't hear anything. Only his voice that echoed in my mind. My body was shaking not with fear but with anger that I forgot that my aura was leaking in a rapid phase. Ivaraj seems unfazed by it because he still continued his story. 
But still, it's so funny. They act heroically at that time, but still lost to me. What a bunch of weaklings. Mu ha 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 ha. Ivaraj said after laughing loudly that echoed throughout the battlefield. I tried to suppress my aura, but after hearing that loud laugh, my body already move on its own. I clenched my fist coating it with, turn null, energy that ignore all kind of defenses. Whoosh. I darted toward Ivaraj with a speed that surpassed time, then punch him in the gut, follow up by an uppercut in his lower jaw that sent him through space. Using, turn null, also double my power, so punching him with this is the right choice. It didn't cause a shockwave or any kinds of explosion because I used the skill, frozen world, to stop time. However, something didn't feel right. How do I say this, when I used this skill, it was kind of different from before. Less than less than answer. Frozen world is an ability that completely stop the time that only the people recognized by the world have the right to enter and move. However, from the experiment and analysis I make, adding, turn null energy, to it makes it more powerful. It ignore all kinds of phenomena in the world. Whether you are a true hero or an awakened demon lord that recognized by the world itself or not, it doesn't matter. In this very dimension, only people permitted by the user can only enter. It may be a powerful skill on the outside, it still have some drawbacks that needs further research and examination. The weakness I mentioned is that the more powerful it become, the shorter the activation of the skill is. It all depends on how long you use it. Master already use it but deactivated it immediately, so master has to wait for about 5 to 6 minutes for its usage. Greater than greater than. Ah. I see, so that's the reason. Anyway, where's Ivaraj, I can't see him anywhere. I said to seal, still feeling slightly angry. Less than less than from the directory of master's attack, he's in the moon right now. At the center of its planet core. Greater than greater than. Thanks. By the way, I'll leave the control of, turn null energy, to you, while I manage the other skills. Okay. I asked seal. Less than less than yes. Leave it to me, master. Greater than greater than seal answered. Seal already know this kind of attitude of Rimuru. When he's angry, he became bossy. Asterisk. Hmm. I nodded, saying thanks to Seal. After that, I used my evolved skills, gravity flight, to fly towards the location where Ivaraj was in and speed up. Fwam. Right now, my enemy is only one and that is Ivaraj. This is probably the second time I've lost my sanity in anger. When Sheehan and the others were killed by the Pharmas invaders, Regret and anger were woven into my heart, and thoughts of self-blame flooded my head. But because of the sight of hope brought by Ellen, the storm in my heart regained its calm. Because of this, I actually managed to act rather deft of being angry while remaining calm. This time, it was different. This pain of having my heart and soul torn apart, the possibility of losing everyone, and the possibility that this world I lived in will also destroy like what happened to Rizu's world made me completely lose my sanity. The odds? Heh. That kind of stuff doesn't matter at all. I want to crush and kill the enemy. I don't care about the process. As long I achieved my goal. That's all I need, to be continued.